history will not be kind to Donald Trump. I think we all know that. It was the Democrats' last chance to try to convince Republicans that the Donald Trump presidency must now end, describing it this way. It's damning, chilling, disturbing, and disgraceful. But with the Senate trial's outcome all but certain, no one doubts Trump will be acquitted Wednesday. Consider the likely real audience for today's final arguments, American voters, who nine months from today will either vote in someone else as president or re-elect Donald Trump. All that's left is for everyone to make up their minds. In fact, Trump's lawyers made that part of their own final argument in slamming the Democrats' case. This body must stand as a steady bulwark against this reckless and dangerous proposition. The only appropriate result here is to acquit the president and to leave it to the voters to choose their president. So Democrats focused on Trump with a portrait of a president they want voters to think about in the run-up to November. He has betrayed our national security and he will do so again. He has compromised our elections and he will do so again. You will not change him. You cannot constrain him. He is who he is. Truth matters little to him. What's right matters even less. And decency matters not at all, said Adam Schiff. He is a president who can never be trusted to do the right thing. You just can't. He will not change, and you know it. Then again, Trump's determination to do things his way is precisely why millions of Americans voted for him in the first place. And after these many weeks of the impeachment process, the fact is millions of Americans are still set to do so again. And Trump knows it. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.